Kobe's not just a player. Kobe's an era. There's three eras in the NBA, and I'll get to those in a second. The three eras that we've all watched. If you're 80 and watch George Mike and God love you, but I'm not going there today. But today's stars player, Durant, Chris Paul, LeBron, Melo, D-Wade. I like them too. But they work out together. They're friends. They dine together. Off-season. Often played AAU together. The even younger emerging stars, Andrew Wiggins, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis. Sometimes you wonder if they have the hunger of even the LeBrons, Chris Pauls, Durants, and Mellows. But let's get back to Kobe and Kobe's era, because Kobe is not retiring tonight. KG is the only player left in the league, Kobe and KG. They're the end of an era, so you better appreciate it. The coming out of high school era, the brutal on teammates era, the relentlessly committed era, the bizarrely intense era. See, the culture of basketball has changed. Not all bad. I like a lot of it. Players and rivals chill together, played AAU together, trained together, do events, charities, golf together. The players are all getting rich now. So collectively, the players understand. Let's just not screw this up for any of us. It used to be, and let's go back to Kobe's era. Kobe's in the MJ era. Michael Jordan's first nine years, he never made $4 million a year. It was the last two years in Chicago he made all his money. Because when Kobe broke into this league and Michael Jordan was in this league, even the star players had to fight for a smaller pool of the money and the attention. In the era Kobe represents, there was a fight for limited money, limited attention, limited fame, and limited shoe deals. Then we moved in. I will call the Kobe era the fight for everything era. The fight to the death era for shoe deals, money, fame, attention, media, and titles. That has segued into the LeBron, Durant, Chris Paul era, which it is, I'll call it the banana boat era. We play together. We train together. We get along together. We compete on the floor, not off it. Then there's the third era that really worries me. That's the Curry and Anthony Davis, Andrew Wiggins. That's the trust fund era. Where based on what Kobe and MJ did, everybody gets rich now. You don't have to be willful. You don't have to be passionate. With the salary cap moving up, you won't even have to start and you'll make $10 million a year. That's the era we're moving into. Got to be honest, all built on MJ and Kobe's back. An unrelenting, often uncomfortable level of intensity. The game has forced Kobe to change, and he's done it very well. But in Kobe's beginning, moving into the beginning of his second career, you can go look up Kobe Bryant's last and best 10 fights. Raja Bell, Ruben Patterson, Bruce Bowen, Matt Barnes. Kobe's first and into his second career, people threw punches at him. He threw punches back. But the NBA does not allow that. Society, frankly, does not allow it. We live in a time you're not allowed to have conflict. The NBA has become the Facebook teaming up culture. The other night, Lakers are playing Julius Randle. They're playing Oklahoma City. Lakers' Julius Randle gets into a tete-a-tete with Westbrook. And you know what Laker fans are thinking? Don't get into a fight. We want Westbrook to be a Laker. Didn't used to be that way. So Kobe Bryant isn't just retiring tonight. An era in the NBA is retiring tonight. 